Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Allie, your independent Cincy consultant. I have some sneak peeks here to share with you. These are down here are my um are the ten new scents that are coming to the fall and winter catalog. These will be released September 1st. The fall and winter catalog comes out September 1st along with these 10 new scents that I'm going to sniff and smell and give your opinions and the descriptions of each scent right now, right here. Let me find them in the book first so you don't have to keep looking. Oh, look at that. I turned, I turned right to it pretty much. I have not smelled these. I have not even really looked at them. I took them out of the box and put them here so you guys don't have to listen to me struggle with a box or listen to the pouch. I thought I would just dig them out and get the catalog and let's dive in. <laughs> I'm really excited to see what they did this um, fall winter with these scents. Last year, they really knocked out of the park. I think most of them are in my club. <laughs> and also curious, I'm really happy that I got the paper catalog because I can see what they are keeping. If you want one, feel free to comment, message me, reach out to me, and I can mail you one. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So these, again, are the 10 new scents that are coming out September in the fall-winter catalog of 2024. First up, we have starting off strong. Pistachio Woods. I say that because any Woods notes I tend to love, so I'm expecting to not feel any different about this one. This is a like a light green color. Yep. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> um, I get the Woods. Oh, now I really get the Pistachio. <laughs> I do really like this. It's different. It's very different. Hmm. Let me see the scent uh, description because I am not sure. I, obviously, there's pistachio in it. Well, let's just see. Okay, where are you? Delicate pistachio and buttery almond. That's what I'm smelling. I'm smelling the almond. Okay, delicate pistachio and buttery almond on a bed of cedar wood. Oh, okay. I couldn't, there was a scent in here that was so familiar and I could not make out what it was. It was similar to, mm, what is it called? There was an almond something pie, was it almond cherry pie? No. There was an almond pie scent that I was obsessed with for like ever. It came out in a brew at my bar. Maybe two or three years ago now. Anyways, this had a similar note to that. And it's the almond. That's what I'm smelling. I smell the woods too and a sweetness to it. A little bit of a sweetness to it. But the almond really hits me. Alright, next one is... Oh, this is interesting. Leaves and Lavender. And it's like a kind of a light brown grayish color. I'm expecting this to obviously smell like lavender. But I'm curious. I'm curious. Let's smell. <laughs> oh. I really like this. I like this a lot. It kind of has a freshness to it. That's probably what the leaves brings to it. Oh, I think it's just smelled some pine. Oh. I smell, I actually, the lavender isn't as um, strong as I thought it would be. It smells good. I really like that. I like that better than the last one. Let's see what Sensi says for the description. Soothing lavender and a hint of clove wrapped up in fall leaves invite you to relax. And it is in the woodsy note. And the other one, by the way, is also, oh wait, no. Scratch that. The pistachio one is in the woodsy note. And the uh, leaves and lavender is in the spice category. Wow. I would have guessed that they both were. 
Okay, anyway, moving on. <laughs> Next we have, oh boy, I think I'm going to like this one. Vanilla Amber. I think this is going to smell like a perfume almost. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I definitely smell the, van I smell both of it. I get the amber and the vanilla, but the vanilla is strong. Especially on the back. <laughs> That's really good. I really, I really like that. So far, I like all of these. <laughs> Let us see what they say. It is in the bakery category. Yeah, I can see why. Because you can definitely smell the vanilla. I would wear this. Like, if they made this in a perfume, I would wear this. That's how good this smells. Um, witch vanilla cream and golden amber infused with, oh wow, sweet rum and a piece of pastry perfection. And it is in the bakery category. I don't know if I said that. I think I said that. It smells really good. I am not disappointed yet. <laughs> I like all of these so far, <laughs> which is worrisome. <laughs> I don't need more scents in my Scentsy Club. Uh, next we have... Wait, I want to do this one first. Next we have Balsam Spice. I think this is going to be, again, a woodsy note. And maybe uh, something kind of similar to um, Pine. Let's see. Open. Oh, yeah. This definitely smells like a similar scent to... Um, the pine scents, which is what I was expecting. I love pine scents. I can't think of any specific name of one right now. But I love those. Those are some of my favorite for uh, the winter catalog or during the winter time. That smells exactly like how I thought it would. I'm going to say that that's in the woodsy category. Let's see. Was I right? Yes, I was. It is in the woodsy category. Oh, there's cinnamon in it. Captivating cinnamon adds sweet spice to charred cedar and balsam. I was not... I, I don't smell cinnamon at all. <laughs> I'm gonna try that again. <laughs> Maybe I will when it's warmed up. I just It just smells like pine to me, like fresh pine needles. It smells good. I still like it. But I don't smell cinnamon. <laughs> Okay, next is, uh, stop. I almost knocked him down. Uh, Cherry Chestnut. Ooh, I don't even know. It sounds like one that I will like, but I don't know what category this would be in. I'm guessing woods. It could be fruity, though, because of the cherry. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, there, that's really sweet. That is not what I was expecting. It's really, really, really sweet. Maybe you get the sweetness from the cherries. Why won't you come out? This is gonna... It kind of smells like Play-Doh. <laughs> um... <laughs> yeah, I can't really make out any specific note other than it does have a sweetness to it and it smells like Play-Doh. Play-Doh's not a bad scent. You know, when you open up a fresh jar, a can jar thing of <laughs> play-doh i always loved that smell <laughs> anybody else anybody like that <laughs> just me okay <laughs> yeah i don't know i don't know what's in this let me let's see i i can't what did i say did i say woodsy woodsy or fruity is what i said right oh it's in the bakery category so this is in the bakery category. It says, warm black cherry topped with roasted chestnuts and whipped vanilla in uh, blah, blah. Warm black cherry topped with roasted chestnuts and whipped vanilla is a sweet and savory delight. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I do smell the sweetness in it. I don't really smell the chestnut. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not what I was expecting, but it's not bad. And Play-Doh might be a very poor description of it, but that's what I first got. <laughs> Next is Hay Rides. Oh, I like that color. This, I'm thinking, is either going to be a woods type scent or a fresh scent. 
Why can't I open these today? There we go. Oh, this is really similar to Autumn Road Trip. If you ever smelled Autumn Road Trip, this is like almost identical. Yeah, this smells like Autumn Road Trip to me. You don't see a difference or smell a difference, not see. This smells exactly like Autumn Road Trip. Um, I wonder if that's coming back. Let me read the description first. Okay, so Autumn, not, see, it smells like so much like Autumn Road Trip that I was looking for it. This one's Hay Rides. It is, oh, it's in the fresh category, which I kind of assumed. Climb aboard with fresh hay and cedar wood. <clears throat> Sorry. Climb aboard with fresh hay and cedar wood and take a ride through crisp apple orchards in this old ode to a joyful autumn tradition. Oh. I do smell the apple. I am going to go find. I'm going to see. Hold on. I need to see <laughs> what autumn. If it's even, I don't even know if it's in here. I don't even know what category it's in. Let me see if Autumn Road Trip is in here. Because I want to compare notes here. Because I'm, I'm telling you, it smells just like it. If you if it's not back, oh yeah, here it is. It's in the fruity catalog. Uh, Autumn Road Trip is in the fruity category, which I wasn't expecting. And this is in the fresh category? Right? Is that what I said? Yeah, what? Sensei, you're out of your mind. Take a tour through crisp harvest apple. Just pick on ju uh, I can never say that pair. I w used to work in produce and we used to, I don't, the A pair. We used to call it the A pair because none of us knew how to say it. A ju pair and a forest of towering silver oak. So that is the description of Autumn Road Trip. And the description of Lee, no, hey rides, right? Hey rides. Climb aboard with fresh hay and cedar wood and take a ride through crisp apple orchards in this joyful autumn tradition. I'm telling you, they smell alike. I will have to... I don't have any autumn road trip, which is crazy because I usually have it in my club. But I, I must have not put it in my club this last time. I will um, I will have to smell them side by side when I get that bar. Anyways, moving on. That floored me. This still smells like that. They might smell different. It might smell different warmed up. Um, Autumn Road Trip is a great scent. It's a great fresh scent. So is this. This is a great scent. Oh, Autumn Road Trip isn't a fresh scent. Apparently. It's a fruity scent. But it smells fresh. <laughs> I think it's a fresh scent. It's not categorized on that. Scentsy doesn't categorize it as that. But if you ask me, it's a fresh scent. And this one is too. And they smell identical to me. Moving on. Next is, oh, brown butter pumpkin. I am very, um, hit or miss with bakery scents. And I'm thinking this is a bakery scent. I don't know. But I'm very hit or miss with bakery scents. Which is crazy because whenever I see them, like even Scentsy, like anywhere, I always think I'm going to really like them and I'm, I, I'm actually usually disappointed with them. <laughs> Oh, I'm not disappointed here. That smells good. I definitely get the brown. I think. Oh, I don't know the. What is it? Brown butter. The pumpkin I get on the bottom. The brown butter I get more on top. This smells good. I actually really like this. I'm dropping chunks of it now. Which one is that? Brown butter pumpkin. That is in the uh, spice category. Not bakery. I thought it would have been bakery. Uh, whip up a batch of seasonal spice mixing melted butter and brown sugar with pumpkin for a tempting treat. So that was pretty much right. I said brown sugar. <laughs> It smells really good. I do like that. I don't know. I think it's, I still think it's a bakery scent. <laughs> I don't care what you say, Scentsy. <laughs> Next is Alpine Escape. Ooh, I bet you that's a woodsy note. It's a green wax. I think I'm going to like this one. 
And so far, I like all of them, really. Oh, yeah. That's woodsy. It's kind of another pine type set to me. Oh, very fresh. Actually, there might be lavender in this. Some kind of floral scent, I want to say. I could be totally off, though. Or maybe a minty. I don't, I don't know. It smells good. This has to be fresh. Fresh or woodsy? Those are my guesses. Let's see. Alpine biscuit. Okay, I was right. It's a uh, woodsy. A woods note. Oh, and it was right too. There is mint in it. Feel the rush of minty air among spruce and evergreen trees on a scenic mountain getaway. Oh, I was spot on with that. I guessed mint. I guessed like pine or some kind of tree. <laughs> and there it is. There's spruce and evergreen. Next we have, this is kind of different, I think, especially for fall and winter, white peach and cranberry. That's different to me, because when I think of peaches, I think of summertime, not fall and winter. But here we go. <laughs> this is a light orangey color. I think I'm going to like it. I think it's a fruity scent. And I like peaches and cranberry scents, so why can't I open this? Oh, that smells like peach rains. You know the gummy peach rain candy? That's what this smells like. Just like it. I like this. <laughs> this smells like peach rains. I can't say that enough. <laughs> this smells exactly like peach rains. Like, open up a bag of peach rains. This is it. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh my gosh. What is this called again? White peach and cranberry. I still think that's in the fruity category. Let's see what the scents are. I was right. It is in the fruit category. A juicy bite of fresh picked white peach with a tart touch of cranberry. Okay, so it's exactly what it says. Cranberry and peaches. <laughs> okay, so the last one there's is... Dun, 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 dun. It is gingerbread pecan waffles. I don't know about this one. Like I said, bakery notes or bakery type scents are very iffy with me. I either love them or hate them. And the pecan is what's throwing me on this one. Let's see. I, I hope I'm wrong. I really am. I really hope I love it. Nope, I don't love it. <laughs> Uh, this is my least favorite of the time. I told you guys. It's hit or miss. I like a lot of vanilla scents or fruity and vanilla scents. But some of the... There's, um... What was it called? Cranberry Muffin. That was a great bakery scent. <laughs> that has been gone for a while, though. I had it in my club. Or I, I don't think I do anymore. I used to have it in my club. I still got a few bars of it, though. Yeah, this isn't my favorite. I think the pecan is what's throwing me. There may be like a a bourbon or a rum note to this. Let's see. It is in the bakery category. Savor all day breakfast with warm and fluffy gingerbread waffles topped with molasses and roasted pecan. Ah, I was right about the pecan. It says it on the title. Um, yeah, that's in the baker category. That is my least favorite of the ten. My most favorite, I don't even know. I like all these. If you like a good bakery scent, and this is for you. If you like a good fruity scent, then I would say this one. If you like a good woodsy note, they have a lot of woodsies in this kit, in this one. They have uh, three out of the ten. Only one fresh. They also have three uh, bakery. So three bakery and three woods and the rest of the other ones. But that is the ten new scents that are coming out September 1st. 
in my opinions. Like I said, I really like all of them, except for that last one, the gingerbread pecan waffles. It's just hit or miss for me for bakery type scents. I don't know. I don't like pecans. I don't like the rum scents. And I don't like... There's another one. Bourbon. Bourbon and the rum scents in some of these bars that they do. Once in a while I like them if they're mixed with something and it's like hidden and I can't smell it that much. But if it's really strong, I don't like it. And I think it's pretty strong in this one. Oh, I did like this one. The brown butter... Uh, pumpkin. Yeah, brown butter pumpkin. But uh, I get a... Pumpkin and brown sugar, basically, is what this smells like to me. I am very pleased with these scents overall. I think they did a great job. Other than this one, because I think it smells just like Autumn Road Trip. This is Hayride. It's not what I was expecting either. I was expecting the gut. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't notice a difference between... Autumn Road Trip in this. I wish I had one so I can smell them side by side, but I don't. But yeah, that is my take on the 10 new scents. You guys can get this as of September 1st when the Fall and Winter catalog comes out along with all the other returning and new... No, these are the new. The returning scents that you may have liked. I don't know which ones are returning. I should look. I have to look when I update my club. But these are the 10 new scents. These 10 new scents will be available as of September 1st, along with the rest of this catalog. If you want a catalog, reach out to me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed my take on these scents. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to reach out. I hope you guys have a good day. Bye!